All right, here it is, nine years later, nine and a half. I'm at the Hector County Courthouse. If y'all do remember, that's where Mighty May, Superman, was parked. And he has assisted in stealing my son. There's the Hector County Courthouse, of which where I'm going to be uh, this coming Wednesday, the 26th at 1.30, and I hope as many of you as possible can come out. I'm in town and I've got court and for obvious reasons there's some things that I just can't talk about because my enemies watch my channel and if you'll remember my son sat his unhappy ass down right there right where that piece of trash is that's where Parker made his stand and engaged in civil disobedience and that was nine and a half years ago Got out of the Hector County Courthouse when Judge Whalen ripped him off and stole him from me and sent him back to where he did not want to be at the age of 14. So we got divorced in 2007 and this shit is still going on. Now, to, I want to make one clarification. I brought this. I wanted this. This this is happening because this is what I wanted. I've been trying for the last five years, five and a half years since I got custody of Blaine to get the clarification of my paperwork, which is still not done. So there it is 15 years later, and after our divorce, and it's still not fixed. And um, again, there's certain things I just can't talk about. It's kind of hard broadcasting this to get as much information out to as many people as possible, knowing that my enemies are watching, trying to figure out what I'm up to next. I don't think I'm going to jail. I, I really don't. This is a clarification hearing. I did a live or a video about four months ago. It's on my channel. I'll have a link to it in the description where we I finally get down to the, what's really causing all this is the attorney general was going through the paperwork where it said I'll just have, I, I, I can't think of it quite off the top of my head. There's basically essentially a typo. And the typo is the reason they haven't updated what we agreed to in mediation when I got blamed. So anyway, we're going to be here at the Hector County Courthouse um, at 1.30 on this coming Wednesday, October the 26th. And I hope to have as many people as possible. Again, I don't think I'm going to go to jail. But I didn't think I was going to go to jail the last time. So I'm just assuming since other than when I got Blaine, my only experience with this town is getting shit on and getting thrown in jail and having my kids ripped away from me and forcing me to drive from here to San Antonio, Texas every other weekend of which I never missed one visitation except for when judge rex put me in jail for being a good dad so anyways i hope to see as many people as possible again it's just a clarification hearing brought by the attorney general it's not brought by directly anyone else it's brought by the attorney general which is what i was wanting because i wanted a clarification i didn't think it had, i was hoping he didn't have to go to this I was hoping the attorneys could take care of it, but that's not exactly how it works. It works only a judge can make, can change orders, and so this is where I'm going to be, and I'd love to see as many people as possible. I'm praying to the gods that all of this crap is finally over. I want this gone. I want this over. I'm so ready to move on with my life, and I just can't because I've got this anchor around my neck. And it's the family court. And that's why I encourage people, Ed, if you can stay out of the family court, if y'all are getting divorced, plead to your ex, stay out of the family court because this is what you risk. This is what could possibly happen in my life. And I will start to say I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy, but I almost wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. So anyway, this coming Wednesday, October 26, 2022, 1 30 p.m. Um, I hope to have as many people here as possible. And if I do go to jail, then we're all, I've, I've got things that I can't talk about, obviously, in place for that to get the word out. If I don't go to jail, I will be going live from this channel. 
and hopefully I'll have good news. So anyway, take care. Love y'all. Bye.